Hi, my name is Doyle, and here we are at the Arcata Plaza in beautiful downtown Arcata, California. Right behind you is the statue of McKinley, world famous. I'll show that to you later. And today we're demonstrating the candle heater. So, steel and ceramic radiator assembly sitting on top of a steel stand with a candle that is actually driving this steel over 500 degrees. 160 to 180 on the outside surface. I like the stand. Well, thank you very much. The stand is, is, is one piece of steel. Oh, that? really? Yes. It's a pretty unique. The stand itself is unique. Yeah, it's a little warm around here. <laughs> So the steel inner core goes over 500 degrees. Oh, okay, so, so then I get some steel in here and there's like dissipating heat around it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's hot. Wow, that's amazing. So how did it work? Steel has the ability to approach the temperature of its heat source. So once the steel gets hot, it acts like a stinger system that's driving heat into all of the ceramics. And you get that nice 160 to 180 on the outside surface. So as long as the candle's underneath there, you have constant heat coming from the burning candle. <laughs> Is it hot? It's pretty warm. Is it uncomfortably hot? No. Wow. Oh, it's hot. It's really hot though. Oh, wow. That's all the heat. Let's reach in there and grab all the light down. Oh, wow, that's a <laughs> The steel and ceramic radiator assembly is comprised of a solid steel inner core with three surrounding ceramic modulators. Steel has the ability to approach the temperature of its heat source. So the steel will be driven to over 500 degrees by the candle flame. That results in a nice 160 to 180 on the outside surface. The candle heater, candle holder. It converts the thermal energy of a candle flame into dry, radiant space heat. Are you going to hurt me? Oh. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. The candle heater... The candle... Ha <laughs> ha